World of Warships is one of those games that I've come back to time and again ever since it was first launched, and with another outing for the asymmetric battle mode, it seemed fitting to once again revisit the game, but this time to record a little gameplay. After all, who doesn't enjoy a little overpowered but outnumbered challenge from time to time, and there's nothing more overpowered in this game mode than the German battlecruiser Schlieffen. I'm Forrester, and this gameplay video weighs anchor on the Schlieffen and sails her into the hostile waters of asymmetric battles in World of Warships, so strap in, brace yourself for an absolute smattering of naval artillery, and let's get started. And we'll dive into the first battle here. See the Schlieffen as we warm up for the fight. The Schlieffen is classified in game as a battleship, but that's really because there isn't a battle cruiser classification. That's really where the ship sits. It is a fictional ship in the sense that it never sailed. Perhaps paper ship is a better term, but it's absolutely fantastic in game, and we'll get into that. One of the reasons this ship is so popular is because of the incredible secondary battery gun turrets. So we've got those four large 420mm twin turrets that are moving their way across the side of the ship at the moment. Those are the primary armament of the Schlieffen. However, there are many, many smaller turrets, and getting those secondary battery hits is huge, as you can see from these other battle results. 844 secondary battery hits in the first, and 953 secondary battery hits on the second. So really, the secondary battery is what does at least half of the damage of this ship in this game mode. What makes it particularly interesting for asymmetric battles is that these battles pitch your, in this case, tier 10 ship against a ship two tiers below. So you're fighting a larger number of less powerful enemies. And the Schlieffen is a great fit for that because the secondary batteries can do huge damage because the shells quite easily penetrate those smaller ships. It is worth mentioning the Asymmetric Battles is a PvE only game mode at this point. I'm okay with that. I don't mind fighting against hordes of AI targets, and that's quite a fun way to kind of feel something a little bit different from the game. So I've been enjoying that. So in this game, actually, because we have one tier 11 or super ship on the team, we're only against ships one tier lower. And that may or may not be ideal depending on the map and the loadout and what your team does. But in this case, it works out just fine because essentially it means that the enemies have a higher hit point pool to work against. So we'll sail the Schlieffen in towards A point and we should shortly get into range to start engaging with those secondaries. With the point already being capped, we know there's somebody on there and then the Schlieffen is detected and you know they can't resist but open fire. And thankfully those secondary battery cannons already returning fire. And a huge volley from the first set of main cannon fire there. Now there are some optimal angles for getting as many of those secondary battery turrets firing as possible. So there are uh, 8 turrets of dual 150mm and 12 turrets of dual 105mm, but they're spread all the way along the side of the ship, and you've only got half on each side. So ideally, you want to be in a position where you've got all of those turrets firing. However, as in situations like this, you also have to be wary of torpedo fire coming in, or potentially some armour-piercing shells that could get through if you've not angled the broadsides. That said, one of the things the Schlieffen has going for it is this hydroacoustic search, which helps with the identification of torpedoes a little bit further out and lets the ship do a little bit of manoeuvring to try to avoid them. That said, this sort of knife fight dance against the AI targets is exactly where the Schlieffen really shines. So it's quite happy in this position. And there you see the other party trick of the Schlieffen is the torpedo armaments, with the first kill there from torpedoes. 
It's kind of a bit of a throw everything on a ship and see what happens. And the torpedoes have been a welcome addition to that. So at this point, all of the enemy ships that have gone to this south capture point have been knocked out largely by the torpedoes, but certainly helped by the secondary battery. And so it's a case of trying to swing around to get back in secondary battery firing range. Another couple of things that you may have noticed. So during this engagement, uh, the Schlieffen launched a little firework, which was the cue to me as the captain that there is an additional bonus active for the secondary battery fire. One of the uh, premium, I don't know what the correct term is, one of the better commanders in the game for German ships is Luchens, and the advantage of Luchens is once you've got 100 secondary battery hits, they will actually increase the rate of the secondary battery fire, making it even more powerful. And for a ship like the Schlieffen, in a situation like this where those secondary batteries are going to be firing, it's a really powerful buff. So the way the ship is configured at the moment, the secondary battery firing range is up to 12.5 kilometers. So turned around here to try and get back within 12.5 kilometers of these ships. Perhaps a little bit unusually firing those main batteries at a different target to the secondary batteries, and that's because it had a good angle on the ship that was presenting itself up there. I think in this sort of a game mode, that's my preferred style, is make sure that you're in range for the secondary batteries for hitting whatever you can hit, and then target whatever is the best angled ship with your main battery. So just on the watch out for those torpedoes, expected them to come, that's why I've done the jink. Did unfortunately grab one of them, it looked like we weren't going to, but we did. But that's fine, the ship is a battle cruiser. it can take a little bit of damage and fix it up. It's not the end of the world. Once again, enjoying the noise of those secondary batteries. So we wait for a good angle for the primaries. Straight through the citadel. Goodbye, Buffalo. And then once again, in range of the secondary batteries for the next target. And this is where kind of racking up these continuous hits from the secondary battery armament. That's what one of the things that makes the Schlieffen a great ship. And especially in this game mode where you can quite easily close the range against some of these large AI targets. A good volley there from the primary armament through the citadel, that Duncan. And this is one of the ideal positions for the ship to be in, which is the secondary batteries on both sides of the ship are starting to engage targets. Now that Duncan is still going, it still has hit points, but switching fire to the left for the only ship that is out of secondary battery range with the main cannons. Now you might argue that this battleship up front would have been a better target for that, especially as it was turning, but actually knocking out the ship that's a little bit further away, out of secondary battery range, seemed to make the most sense at the time. As these secondary batteries are really just peppering away at this battleship. Bring the main armament to bear. And then aiming a little bit higher than usual, because the angle wasn't optimum and I didn't expect to get an optimum angle, sometimes I'll shoot to try and take out the gun turrets to prevent the ship from firing its main armament back. So sometimes aiming a little bit high can help. But racking up a huge number of secondary battery hits here. And there we go, it's gone, Minnesota gone. So compared to some of the other games with 900 plus secondary batteries, a measly 773 hits is certainly no record, but I thought it was a very interesting game to be able to showcase the variety of things that the Schlieffen can do. Six torpedo hits, eight citadel hits, and actually across the damage, 134,000 from the main battery, 166,000 from the secondary, and 45,000 damage from the torpedoes. Hopefully an interesting game.
I don't often showcase World of Warships on the channel, but hopefully you enjoyed this video showing something a little different. If you did, you might press the like button to let me know to venture out a little bit further in the future, and if you're not yet subscribed, given that you got this far, you probably want to do that too, so that YouTube knows to show you more videos like this in future. But otherwise, and as always, thank you for watching.